Brooklyn Independent Television. With the primaries behind them and both national conventions a thing of the past, election season is in full swing. And in the case of Brooklyn, there's little question that the borough is considered a Democrat territory. But Republicans are making some headway. Back in August, candidates and elected officials gathered at the Kings County Republican headquarters on 17th Avenue to kick off their election season with an eye toward winning more seats. And Sherry Carabin was there. We are the tip of the spear to push back against uh, liberal craziness that wants to put this country you know, in bankruptcy. And that's, that's the bottom line. And if we don't hold the line and we don't push, we're going to lose this great nation that we all love. So With a focus on jobs and the economy, elected officials and candidates gathered outside Kings County Republican headquarters in late August to officially kick off the 2012 campaign season. From Obama at the top of the ticket to the bottom of that ticket, we are going to have new Republicans, fresh Republicans, fresh faces, and we're going to take this country into a new era and into the right direction. While the event was about generating enthusiasm and support for the candidates, it also proved to be the perfect opportunity to show off some recent improvements to their headquarters, located at 7620 17th Avenue. One, two, three. We just put a new sign up and we just redid the inside of the office. We got people signing up, new volunteers. It's just an opportunity to bring people together, to hear our elected officials, to see our Republican team um, in action. And, uh, you know, we've done a lot of good things since I've been chairman. We've elected um, four new people, and we're going to continue to elect people this year. We're going to re-elect all of our current electeds, and we're going to bring more people to the assembly, and we're going to continue that wave. David Storobin was among those elected. He won a special election to replace disgraced Democratic ex-state Senator Carl Kruger. And now he's fighting to hold on to his seat. Every time they will tell you you're the underdog, every time they will tell you you cannot win, every time they will tell you you have no hope, give up, surrender, you will lose, you're not serious, guess what? They said the same thing to me and we won in March. I don't care how long it took us to win, we won. Two years ago, uh, when I decided to take on a four-year incumbent and my colleague, Congressman Grimm, uh, decided to take on an incumbent as well, and um, like David, many people didn't think we could win, we didn't have a shot, but we had a good team, which comprised of many of you. We had um, good supporters, we had good working troops that got out there, and we had, most importantly, we had a great message. Now they're hoping others, like former assistant district attorney and Brooklyn native Lisa Gray, will follow in their footsteps. Gray is striving for a seat in the state Senate. People are hurting all over, you know, all over the, the city, all over the state, all over the country. So I really think that we need to uh, put in uh, fiscal policies that are smart, that make sense, uh, like reducing taxes, reducing regulation, helping to make, uh, make the state more business friendly, to keep, you know, businesses here. I mean, it's, it's our small business owners that create most of the jobs. Daniel Kavanaugh, who's running for a seat in the 9th Congressional District, says support for the Republican Party in Brooklyn is growing. I worked for Senator Goldman for several years, and I've seen maybe not the number of registered Republicans grow, but the people that support the party. Uh, my, I myself was a Democrat before I started working for the Senator. I believe this year will be a uh, resounding year of success for the Republicans, and uh, they're going to bring a message that of hope and, uh, and uh, a prosperous uh, a new year coming up because of the good ideas that they will have in putting people back to work. Bay Ridge native Tom McCarthy will be testing out that theory. He plans to take on Democratic incumbent 46th District Assemblyman Alec Brooke Crosney this fall. The district covers a large portion of territory, ranging from Coney Island and Brighton Beach to Diker Heights and Bay Ridge. What's the most important issue for you in this race? Um, from my perspective, the most important issues facing the state of New York are jobs and the economy. The state of New York has uh, ranked among the bottom of states in job creation over the past couple of decades. We're, we're losing population, people are moving out of the state, and uh, there aren't enough jobs for our young people. And I think that's the critical issue facing the state right now. 
whatever the final outcome of the November election may be, Eaton says one thing is clear. The Republican Party in Brooklyn has put Democrats on notice. For many, many years, the Democrats came out and would run, and they wouldn't have any primaries, they wouldn't have any general people coming against them in the general election, and they just felt that they could do whatever they wanted, and now they're realizing that no seat is safe. This is Sherry Carabin reporting for Brooklyn Review. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.